listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Friday, November 15th, 2024. Today is also the feast day of St. Albert the Great. St. Albert the Great, he's one of those few saints that has the great attached to his name, and he earned it. He was an early Dominican. We don't know much about his early life, but we do know that he was a brilliant man who wrote on so many different topics from the stars to plants to animals to theology, that he loved God. He adored Mary. He was a dedicated priest, and he devoted his life to studying God in the natural world. He was not only brilliant, he was an incredible teacher. His most famous student was St. Thomas Aquinas, who was also a Dominican, and who Albert really helped steer towards a real love of God and academics. Now, this week we have been talking about the virtue of justice as we continue on in our series, The ABCs of the Catholic Faith. Today we're going to talk about the three different parts of of justice. But before we get there, please join me in our November prayer, St. Gertrude's prayer, as we remember all the holy souls in purgatory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in honor with in union with the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my home and within my family. Amen. So we've talked a lot about justice. Remember, justice is the virtue that reminds us that we have a duty to others, but also to God, that God needs to come first, but that we also need to respond to the needs of the poor and the suffering in the world, that we need to not be selfish, but also not be totally selfless. We need to care for ourselves and care for other people. Now, in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, we hear that there are three different types of justice. They call this distributive justice, communitive justice, and legal justice. And so we're not going to worry about those big words so much, but I think it's important to understand that evaluating our duty to others is important to do in three separate ways. So first of all, distributive. This means that we have a duty to share what we have, to distribute the things that we have been blessed with. Or if we haven't been blessed with very much, we have a a duty, we have a right to ask for what others have. Now, I know that's a very simple way of saying it, but it's this distributive justice means that the community will thrive when there's no person that's starving and there's no people on the other side that have way more than they need. Now, this is a big topic and it gets into a whole bunch of complicated politics that we are not going to touch here But this is one of the reasons why people pay taxes so that money can be collected and then distributed to the poor. We know our government does not do anything perfectly and no government in the world does this perfectly. But if we're striving for the virtue of justice, this is something that we need to reflect on on our own. Am I just gathering money that really should be shared with other people? That's an important thing to reflect on. And that is the distributive quality of justice. Next, communitive. Now, this means this has to do not with goods, but with duties. Now, in order for a society or a community or even a neighborhood to thrive, it's important that everybody is doing their bit, that everybody is chipping in and contributing, right? If you live in a neighborhood and one of your neighbors is just throwing garbage everywhere or just, you know, has wild 
cats they're letting run all over, right? We're all going to suffer. We're all going to be affected by this one person's bad and selfish choices. When we think about this in the world, we can see also that one country should help another, that we should all be sort of striving towards making the world a better place. And so although we cannot control often what our countries do, we can control what we do. Am I pitching in and doing work around the house or am I making my mom do it all? Am I being a team player on my sports team? Not even, not only on the field, but also picking up afterwards and making sure that everybody is comfortable and happy. So it's just making sure that I am contributing and that I'm holding other people accountable to also build up this community and do their duties that they are called to do. Now, the final part of justice is legal justice. Now, this has to do with the rules and the laws. We know that our laws that we follow as Christians are the Ten Commandments. The greatest law Jesus gave us in the gospel, right, to love God with our whole mind, heart, and soul, and then to love our neighbors as ourselves. But in the worlds that we live in, there's a lot more laws than that. And these laws, of course, are meant to protect us, not necessarily to penalize us, but to protect us. Even the speed limit is a protection so that we're not out there driving with people who are driving 100 miles an hour. So those are the three parts of justice. I encourage you today to actually reflect on commutative justice and concerning duties Think about your home. Are you contributing to a nice, comfortable, safe place to live through your duties? Are you cleaning up your area? Are you pitching in when there is work? This is something to think about if you can be a better part of your community and perhaps help your parents out a little more. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening to the Catholic Sprouts podcast. If you enjoyed this week's content where we discuss the virtue of justice, I encourage you to join us for our Lenten devotional, which is brand new this year. It's called The Quest. The Quest is a journey with the wise men through Advent and the Christmas season, concluding on the Feast of Epiphany. Throughout this whole time, we will study the virtues and be challenged to grow in virtue as a family. This is a beautiful hardcover printed devotional that is on sale now. To check it out and learn more, just check the notes for this podcast episode. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.